Hello, and welcome back to the Leftware Solutions channel, your hub for data and cloud technology insights. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Today, we're gonna to be exploring Microsoft's newest flagship data analytics platform, Microsoft Fabric. Fabric is described as a major leap in data analytics and is poised to reshape the world of AI and analytics. Let's get started. Earlier this year at Build 2023, Satya Nadella stated that Microsoft Fabric is the most significant launch in data products from Microsoft since SQL Server. The biggest launch of a data product from Microsoft since the launch of SQL Server. Which I don't know about you, but that should immediately catch your attention. So what exactly is Microsoft Fabric? Well, it's an end-to-end -end platform that brings together a diverse range of technologies and many different personas that might be working with data within an enterprise organization under a single unified solution. Fabric combines Microsoft Power BI, Azure Data Lake, Azure Synapse Analytics, and Azure Data Factory into a single SaaS-based platform. Now, Microsoft is claiming that this is not a direct replacement for these existing Microsoft services, but rather a significant evolution and unification of these services. However, after some of these exciting announcements that were just announced at Ignite, I find it hard to believe that Fabric won't eventually become the de facto platform for large enterprise clients, provided that they can maintain a reasonable price point. So what challenges does Microsoft hope to solve with this new Fabric platform? Well, Microsoft created Fabric to address several challenges in the field of data analytics and management, particularly in this new AI-driven landscape. I've broken them down into five different categories based on the problems Fabric is trying to solve. So first up is unified and simplified data management. This is a problem we run into quite a bit with our clients at Leftware Solution, where each team will have their own way of collecting data, of governing their data, and securing their data. And this often results in what are called data silos. Now, Microsoft Fabric aims to enhance the complex task of data management by introducing OneLink, which is a unified storage layer that organizes all data into a single logical structure. OneLink is essentially just an abstraction layer over an Azure data lake but it further simplifies data handling across various sources of data within the enterprise. The One Lake approach, its ultimate goal is to simplify enterprise data management with better governance control, more granular access controls via a user-friendly hub, data hub. And ultimately this innovation allows users in an organization to manage their data with greater effectiveness and efficiency thereby enhancing overall data governance and accessibility. Fabric also aims to enhance machine learning and analytics capabilities for customers. Now, obviously Microsoft already has Azure Synapse and Azure Machine Learning Studio in place, which are great platform as a service based platforms for generating analytics and deriving insights. However, Microsoft claims that the Fabric Synapse solutions bring improved speed, scalability, and new capabilities to the table. They have specific personas tailored for specific tasks that each merit a video on their own. First up is the Synapse Data Engineering Experience, which abstracts the underlying uh, Apache Spark clusters to allow data engineers to transform and prepare organizational data to share with the business. Next up, we have the Synapse Data Science Experience which allows you to build machine learning models and infuse predictive insights into your analytics solutions and applications. And then finally, we have Synapse Real-Time Analytics. This experience allows organizations to rapidly ingest, transform, and observe data in real time as it is collected from various sources such as apps or IoT devices. Fabric also introduces its own built-in data warehouse known as Synapse Data Warehouse. Synapse Data Warehouse is an enterprise relational data warehouse that aims to improve enterprise data storage, data management, and data analysis. And it's designed to handle large data sets with remarkable efficiency. Fabric's goal with Synapse Data uh, Warehouse is ultimately around deriving better business outcomes through improved data strategies. The Synapse Data Warehouse stands out because it's built on top of Fabric's Data Lakehouse, where data is stored in Delta format and can be queried using SQL. For those who work with 
Azure Data Factory, the data pipelines in Microsoft Fabric Data Factory will seem quite familiar. Fabric Data Factory is designed to move and transform large volumes of data from one source, for example, an ERP system, CRMs, or even other transactional databases into a different data store, usually where large scale analysis can be performed, for example, within a data warehouse. Its primary value really lies in facilitating ETL, Extract Transform Load Processes, that integrate different organizational data sources and automates complex data workflows. This ability of moving and transforming data is important for organizations looking to optimize their data management, enhance their analytical capabilities, and drive more informed decision-making at large scale by leveraging their data. Data Factory offers a drag and drop user interface to link various activities and outline a workflow made up of data processing tasks and control flow mechanisms. These pipelines can be executed on demand through Microsoft Fabrics interface or set up to operate automatically according to a specific schedule. All right, so next up, I wanted to give a quick uh, walkthrough of the Microsoft platform. So it is a web-based platform. I'm accessing it here from app.fabric.microsoft.com. And currently I'm using the free trial, which is a 60 day free trial that you can sign up for on your own. So when we go to the actual Fabric website, we're first greeted with this welcome screen where it talks about uh, several of the different experiences. So again, Power BI, Data Factory, Data Activator, which we didn't really cover, uh, Synapse Data Engineering, Synapse Data Science, Synapse Data Warehouse, and Synapse Real-Time Analytics. Depending on which one of these we click, uh, we'll be given a slightly different experience in the UI. Um, but for the sake of this video, um, let's just say I am a data engineer. So I will go into data engineer here. And as you can see here, I have several different workspaces. I have different data lakes, uh, data files, warehouses, et cetera, that I've just kind of been playing around with myself. But for the sake of this uh, video, I'm gonna go over here to my workspace. And under here, I have a lake house, um, which is again, what everything uh, that fabric is built on top of this lake house where all of my enterprise data is essentially stored. So. We'll go over to our lake house and again, it's organized here um, based on folders. So I have tables and I have files. Um, so let me go in and import a new file. So I'm going to upload file. Um, I'm going to bring up this company sales.csv file. I'm going to upload that and there we go. So now I have this company.csv file here, um, which is, yeah, just a, a regular CSV file, but um, let's say that I wanted to get this into a table format so that I can uh, run queries on it. What I can do is go here and load as new table, and I will call this company sales and uh, use header for column names and separator, usually with CSV, comma separated uh, and hit load. So that's going to go in and that's going to create me an actual table here in my lake house um, that I will be able to run queries on. So, so we'll just load for a second. Okay, so uh, my table has now been loaded in here. Um, as you can see here, we have the company sales and it even is able to defer a uh, sales order number, that's a var, uh, sales order line number, that is an integer, uh, date. So it's able to actually infer a lot about those individual columns um, based on the data that we uploaded. Now, in order to actually run a query on this, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna create what is called a SQL analytics endpoint to query the data using SQL. So I'll go here. And if you're familiar with uh, Azure Synos Analytics, um, this, this does somewhat look sim similar here. Again, everything under a single unified platform that is web-based. And again, I have all of my data located right here. And then now I can go in and I can actually run uh, various different SQL queries um, on that. So just a simple select top 100. Um, I can do various filtering, but again, able to work with all of my data directly in the platform. Now, the final thing that I wanted to show is to actually now create some visualizations using this data. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to create a Power BI dashboard. Yeah, down here, there is this model tab, um, which again, 
shows our uh, schema for this uh, particular data set. Um, now, obviously these other ones are not really relevant to what we're doing. However, if we go over here, we have our company sales table. That's the one that we're looking for. And then we are going to create a new report from this. So go in, new reports, uh, open up a new window. Again, we're still under app.fabric.microsoft.com. However, we are now in the Power BI visualization um, side of things. So let's say that I wanted to create a visualization that showcases an item name and then the actual quantity of that particular item. I can go here and I can select both of those. And then I have just a, a very basic table here that's showing all these different items that we're selling and then the total quantity of that item. Uh, we can then go in and create various uh, visualizations. So like a, like a bar chart, um, these uh, uh, pie charts. Um, but for the sake of this, we'll just do a single uh, stacked column. Expand this a bit. Actually, let's try out a stacked bar chart. There we go. That's much better. Stacked bar chart uh, with, again, the item names on the left-hand side and then the quantity of that item here on the x-axis. So as I said, this is just a simple high-level demo of some of the features within Fabric. But really, the, the value that I see here in this platform is just having everything integrated instead of having to go into Azure Data Lake, instead of having to go into Azure Synapse and then Azure Data Factory and then Power BI. We have all of those apps under a single platform, a uh, SaaS-based platform that is very, very intuitive in, in how things are linked together. And this is certainly going to help out the non-technical people within an organization. It will empower them to be able to work with this enterprise level data, because again, everything is under this one lake data hub that they should have access to depending on how granular, um, what kind of access controls we set. But yeah, really it's uh, it's a nice unified platform that I think is gonna see a lot of adoption. Fabric became generally available as of November 15th. And it's clear from the hype that this product is going to be an absolute juggernaut within enterprise organizations. Along with the GA release, there were several other key announcements made at Microsoft Ignite event that only solidified this point. Two of my favorites are the public preview of Copilot in Microsoft Fabric, which will allow using natural language to create data flows and pipelines, uh, write SQL statements, build reports, or even develop machine learning models. And then the other one that I'm really excited for is the integration with Microsoft Purview into Fabric to provide enterprise scale security, compliance, and governance capabilities that enterprise use today for Office, M365, Azure, and multi-cloud platforms. At Leftware Solutions, we have worked extensively with Microsoft technologies like Azure Synapse, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Lake, and Power BI. And we understand the pain points around these platforms quite well. I strongly believe that the Fabric experience of a unified platform consolidating these technologies under a single name is a step in the right direction. However, this unification goes beyond just another Microsoft marketing tactic. It's really the user friendliness and the seamless integration of these diverse technologies that we believe will drive adoption of this new platform. Increasingly, our clients at Leftware Solutions are shifting their data strategies. I've personally been seeing a steady move away from traditional infrastructure as a service and platform as a service models towards more user-friendly software as a service platforms uh, like Fabric. We're thrilled to include this new platform in our toolkit at Leftware Solutions. If your company is looking to set up its Fabric, don't hesitate to contact us. We're ready to guide you through the entire process. If you found this exploration into Microsoft Fabric insightful, do hit the like button, share it, and subscribe for more tech insights. Have any questions or topic you'd like us to delve into next? Drop a comment below. This is Josh from Leftware Solutions, signing off.